Quick audio test, are we all good? Quick audio test, are we all good? Yep, yep, there we go, there we go, okay. Right, welcome everybody. Um, so tonight we're going to carry on with the Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition campaign. Um, I believe we're just uh, on the Joan of Arc campaign at the moment, so we'll uh, we'll carry on with that one. And uh, then I think after that it's on to the Genghis Khan campaign, so we'll uh, we'll dive straight in. But before that, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's followed us since the last stream. Um, so there's uh, Dredge Dragon, VM Cloud, uh, Red Zookeeper, One Punch Roam, uh, Matthias Warrior, uh, Adzo707, uh, Jedi's Games, uh, Matty Stone96, Soaring Earth, Baron Von Cheese. Um, massive thank you to everybody that's uh, that's followed. We're currently trying to get 500 followers before the end of April. So uh, if you're not already following, please uh, hit that follow button and uh, help us get our goal to 500. So let's uh, dive straight into the action. June 14th. Orléans. Our rescue of Orléans was a setback for our enemies, but only a minor one. The English still possess half of France. Tragically, we have cooled our heels for weeks, while the Dauphin's advisors debate. Joan became irritated with the delay and reassembled her army. She talks of nothing but her mission to drive the English into the sea. The force of Joan's will is titanic. She has gathered to her banner swearing brigands and knaves and turned them into patriots and heroes. Among them is the man Lair, a giant clad in plate mail. He drives men on with curses and fists. There will be plenty of English necks for Lair to break in Pate. Pate is the gateway to the Loire River Valley. The English hold the Loire in a grip of steel. Once the huge army under Sir John Fastoff devastates the countryside. Joan leads us to Pate to capture the English castles. However, we must avoid Fastoff's army until we are strong enough to face his veterans. Right, okay. So let's see what the objectives are for this one then. Okay, so Joan must survive and we need to destroy three of the four English castles. Um, so the hints are, the French army is still confined to the castle age in a population limit of 125. Make sure that you have an ample siege weapons before assaulting the English castles. The area across the river and to the east should have plenty of resources with which to establish your town. Let's see what the scouts report say. So the French army under Joan of Arc, which is the blue team, has reached the Loire River to take the region back from the English. The English, which are the red team, are in control of many of the castles in the Loire Valley. Although they will not be very aggressive, their army is not to be trifled with. Uh, the Burgundies, which is the purple team, are the closest to the river and will quickly field an army of infantry. It may be a good idea to deal with them early on. Um, so the English General Falstaff is said to lead the English army of the Oranges. Be on your guard as he is said to make use of heavy cavalry units. <coughs> Right, why do I feel like we've already done this one? Were we already part way through a game? I think we were. I think we'd already started this one and... Um yes! No, we were, we were. So... We'd already destroyed the Burgundy team, which were camped out here. Uh, we've established ourselves pretty big base over here, um, and yet it's just the uh, the red armies that we need to destroy. Okay, I'm glad I didn't completely forget that we'd, uh, we'd already got part way through this level. is build up our uh, catapults. So where's our siege workshop? There it is. Okay, we need more gold. So where was the gold? Army of rams. How quaint. An army of rams? Hey. Okay, well, it's probably one where Joe needs to survive, so we'll uh, stick 
Take her back in there. Alright. Town centre. Let's go get some gold. Oh, we're getting attacked from over there as well. Been attacked by the English here. Pesky Brits. Leave it. Well, I've got a feeling that this this castle over here will be one of the easier ones to uh, take because there's only a few of them. Um, not enough gold still. Okay, we're working on that. We're working on that. Oh, we've got some gold mining over here as well. Okay, so we're not completely uh, completely uh, out of it. Cafe. Cafe. Are they all villagers? Okay, well we'll, uh, we'll get them mining that gold there then. Three villagers not doing anything. Get them all on the gold hunt here. Where's our... Uh, there we go. Upgrade the gold. units so far. Just upgrade those other units. Okie dokie.
Build a good, uh, a good chunk of um, catapults, or what are they called on this? Mangonels. Well, we probably need to build a couple of houses as well. We're getting to the point where uh, we're reaching our population limit. Yeah, we'll wait for two more. Right, so we definitely need to uh, build some houses. Oh, we've got no wood. We have got plenty of people building, though. Okay, okay. Bastiso! Bastiso! Send them down here. Carry on with that mining. There we go. Yeah. Right, you carry That's on with that tower. Right, I want you guys to go and attack that tower there. You guys to head up here. Uh, protect us plenty from over there. Set him to get some wood. Send you guys down here to mine this gold. And then you three, you can get some more wood as well. That right, should be everyone. Right, hopefully their range will suffice. Mangonauts didn't last very long at all, right? So we're going to need to uh, basically do all that again. Right. All right. Build a few more houses. Okay. Yeah, can we do 
that thing where we ch ch drag the houses? So what's good at taking down uh, cavalry? Yeah. So I send the pipe one out there. Can we build a castle? No, we need more stone for that. There's plenty of gold knocking about, but stone is a bit more on the rare side. There is a chunk there. Oh, I keep it, Kenny. Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, no, that's not a problem at all. I uh, like to have a bit of a variety of who I watch uh, nationalities on with standing. I hope you're doing very, very well, and thank you very much for uh, popping by and saying hi. It's appreciated. Okay. Right, so I think we've got everything there. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're having a uh, having a good day. Some uh, knights as well. Boz was your childhood, even you're not that old. <laughs> hey, it feels like uh, we were never that old, but I think some of us are a bit older than we uh, we think we are, mate. But no, it's, uh, it was one of my childhood uh, games as well. Not so much Age of Empires 2, Age of Wands was uh, my go-to game when I was a kid. Um, I wasn't, uh, I always used to do uh, go Age of Empires 2 was my favourite. And then when I replayed Age 1 on, uh, on stream over the last month or so, um, and then jumped onto age two. It's uh, I, I, I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too sure. I felt like it was a bit sluggish. But now that I've uh, been playing it for a few days and I've really, really got into it. Oh, Clyde two five five. Thank you so much for the follow. We really appreciate that, mate. And I kept it, Kenny. Yeah. Thank you for the follow as well, mate. Thank you. I hope everyone's having a great day. Great to see everyone popping into the stream today. Oh, so where are these going? Yeah, there, over there. That's. Which, uh, which Age of Empires was uh, was it that you used to play? Were you, were you a fan of the series? Ah, you were mainly playing through Cena 3 we'll is definitely my least favourite, unfortunately. Um, but again, I will be playing it after I finish Age 2. But no worries um, that you've got to go. Um, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and uh, I hope to see you again soon on the stream. And I won't hold it against you that Age 3 was your favourite. <laughs> no worries, mate, no worries. You take care.
préféré. Bûcheron. Oé. Bûcheron. Right, so. Yeah, we could do with a couple more catapults, not enough gold though. Keep chipping away down here, and then after we've done that, we'll uh, set up a little gold mine over here. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, we'll just do that now. So there's some more stone there if we need it. How are these guys getting on? Can you guys reach that castle? No, they just can't reach it, just can't reach it, but they can carry on destroying the houses. Right, um... We're being attacked by the English again. Okay, well we definitely need to build, uh... Okay. Build some towers over here. Okay. <laughs> Leave it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 we want to stone the mine here. That's the stone. Mounted cavalry. Now we'll leave that for the time being, keep our resources while we can. Can 
know what we will uh we'll go for a few more. Oh you That's the store. said that the limit was 125, was it, for the sir? Uh... Well, we've got two more of those building, five more of those, five more of those and seven more mounted cavalry. Right, that's uh, quite the army there we've got going on. boys up here doing. Yeah, I wonder if we start attacking. You know what, let's have a bit of a mooch up here. See what's going on further upstream. <coughs> Nothing much to see here. Right, so we've actually hit the limit now with our uh, population growth. Right, so now that's everyone we can get, we'll send these guys up. Oh, we'll send them there first. Can you group units on this? I don't think so. Oui. 
Right, so as soon as they start attacking, their cavalry should come out. We will uh, attack them with our infantry and cavalry units. That should do the trick nicely. these supporting buildings here. Ah, that's, that did not go so well. Alright, can we build a castle yet? No, so we need a lot more stone. So, one thing we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll send these guys down here. Okay. Relax. All right. Let's build a little. Pastiso. Uh, a little mine down the bottom here. Okay. Oil. Bûcheron. Bûcheron. Oui. Pastisor. Prêt. Pastisor. Prêt. Pastisor. Well, we could really do with a third uh, tower there, couldn't we? Right, just explore that 
coastline just in case we've got any stone deposits. Oh, hey. You know what, yeah, we're probably better to send our ships down there. Just in case something like this happens. Okay. Minio. Increase convert buildings. Pass the salt. Pass the salt. Yeah, I thought that's what I was saying. There's only one of three that we need to do. So there's going to be another one in there. So there was four castles. Yeah, so we're going to have quite the uh, task on our hands to uh, destroy all these castles. So what we're thinking about it, let's make an army. Unless we just go in with a load of those, fill them for the demolition guys, straight over, boom, blow the castle. I feel like we'll probably end up losing a lot valuable uh, units that way. To, uh, we don't need to actually worry about him, do we? He's only sending dribs and drabs of armies to us, nothing to worry about. Yeah, you know what, while we're here. Pass this up. Go do some recon over there. Perfect. Yeah, 
because they're bound to have uh, some more cavalry units built by them. Oh. How have they still got... The Burgundy Army still actually got a tower knocking about somewhere. That's yeah, fine, they're going down. Too many of them, not enough, eh? Right, now let's send our guy, uh, we'll send him around this way. Scout the edge of this, uh, castle here. one of the easier ones to get there. It looks like they've got one watchtower. Although if we go there, is there another watchtower hidden just in here? Very possibly, very possibly. Yep, okay, so it's got two watchtowers. Same sort of ensemble as the other one. Much smaller than I was expecting it to be that castle. Destroy three of the four. How are we doing? Off a double up nineteen. Got another six being built. This area? I think so. This home. Your friend. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Friend. Seth. 
Well, once they've got rid of that forest as well, we'll uh, get all those trees. Uh, well, sorry, once we've got all the trees cut down, we'll build a wall to uh, reinforce that. Not that we need it though, because uh, this army is very passive. Attacking our castles. Que fait? Bonjour. Enough of this. I shall Bonjour. deal with Joan of Arc. Methinks this peasant girl should Bonjour. go back to her sheep. Oh, that's that one destroyed. How many did it take? Not actually as many as I was expecting it to. Okay, so we'll put these guys back in there. Just keep them there in reserve. I think that castle's probably the one that's uh, ripest for the picking. I come for you, Joan of Arc! Are you? Do your wells, you English fox! they got they've got a couple of barracks
We are but one more to raise. Them English can't make a castle oui. stronger than Lehia. Yeah, I reckon we just go for this one, you know. After Pate, the myth of English invulnerability was dispelled. Now, our army knows it is possible to win, but only if we are resolute and cunning. The English are a most deadly enemy. Their long men have decimated the charm of French knights time and time again. To make matters worse, we now face enemies on both sides. The Dolphins advise us spend more and more time wrangling, jealous of Joan's influence at court. I pray that Joan can complete her divine mission before the Dolphins' envious advisors betray her. So the next one is uh, level four, the rising. June twenty fifth, 
Orléans. Orléans. Yet France is returning to life. Our army swells with new recruits. In olden times, men swore fealty only to their particular lord. Now, we fight not for the insolent lords and ladies, but for France. For all of us, Joan is France. There is no distinction in our minds. The Dauphin himself has arrived in Orléans. Never have I seen such a celebration. France needs a king, so we must escort the Dauphin to Reims, where he can be properly crowned. Yet, the city of Reims is dangerously menaced by the Anglo-Burgundian army. The cities of Troyes and Chalon also bar the way. Joan commands that we must liberate all three cities before the coronation, and we eagerly seek to fight. Right, okay, so we've got to liberate three cities then, have we? Right, Joan must survive. Travel best to help and reinforce the French camp. Be wary of opposition along the way. Okay, so the hints. The French can now advance to the Imperial Age, but they still cannot produce gunpowder weapons. Their population limit is 125. Right, gaining control of the river may be a good strategy, but do not squander your resources needlessly on ships. Uh, Chalons is the closest and most vulnerable of the three English occupied towns. Making an example of them early could help even the odds for you in the long run. <clears throat> so excuse me. Uh, remember your objectives. It's not necessary to level the cities, only to force the English to withdraw. Wall off all shallows to slow enemy attacks. Wow, that's a lot of uh, scouting. Okay. <clears throat> So the army of France, which is the blue team, is travelling to a French camp in the west, but the road there is defended by English guards. Joan of Arc will need to reach the camp before she can liberate Troyes, Charles and the most portly Rhymes. If the French are to crown the Dauphin, Charles, Troyes and Rhymes, the three towns occupied by the English are across the river and are well defended. The English at Charles will, def will field knights and scorpions and even warships if threatened. Their town is unprotected and can be easily reached by crossing the shallows. Troyes is... Slightly better defended with walls and a castle protecting the river across into the east, however, they are not prepared for an attack from the flank. They will train pikemen and knights to fight the French, but will also build warships if they feel they are about to lose control of the river. Rhymes is a walled city protected by castles and towers. The English garrison there will include longbowmen, light cavalry, knights, and. Bloody hell, that's uh, a lot to try and uh, take in and remember. Right. That was just the English guards done and dusted. Right, let's heal up, guys. Let's heal up. Priest, work your magic, get everyone nice and uh, nice and healed. <coughs> oh, eh? Oh, eh? Okay, we're good, right? We'll move on. <coughs> nice, right, so we're actually almost at the camp. You were assigned to help you construct your military camp. Right, okay. Um Let's 
Let's just have a bit of a recce, work out what's going on around the edges. So I'm assuming all of the... Uh, all of the cities that I need to liberate are going to be on the north side of the river. Just need to destroy town centres. down here. Okay, so there's a watchtower. Okay. 
Rastisor. Prêt. Rastisor. Prêt, c'est. Vera. those two points on the river. trying to cross the river. Region beside the river. Joan died. Joan died. All right, let's uh, let's go straight back in for that one. <coughs> Well, uh, we'll let the 
priest tail him up. Guys, oh, yeah. guys, 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 guys. Oh, yeah. Blue deck. Leave it. Get him out of that hand, Lamont. Actually, we're going to go put the first tower up that one. Last 
D1NE or Dine or how many years ago. Thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're doing well today. Are you a, uh, you a fan of the uh, Age of Empires series? To do another tower now, what is it? Now we don't have enough wood. Okay, okay. Oh, oui, Libé. Bucheron. Right, okay, so we actually need to build some more houses. A couple down here. Pastisor, hey, Libé. Hey. Pastisor. There we go, right, oh, that should do us. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Send her over this way. Pirax. <clears throat> Oil. Libé. Cert. Pirax. Cert. Cert. Pirax. are trying to cross the river. That shot my Jesus. Oh, 
Forêt. Parce qu'il sort. Prêt, certes. So they're no longer my enemy. Okay, that's good to know. Still down there, yep, yep, she's nice and happy. Lovely Jibbly. Okay, oi. Okay, so we got a marketplace. some seed workshops. Oh, yeah. 
safe. I got a market somewhere that I can go trade, trade, trade with. Ik 
Rastisor. Getting a good defensive defensive war on our uh, our base here. Okay, right, so, just got to destroy two more town centres, we need to get our act together now really then and start uh, building up a bit more of a base. Okay, so we've got a barracks, we're going to mark it, we don't have a monastery but we could have one, where do we want to put that? So we'll put that there. Okay. Holy shit. Trebuchets are good. Where are you guys going? Fucking hell. Okay. Okay. Let's go. 
That big old chunk of gold I saw. Ah, it's okay, wasn't it? and early run out of stone, have we? Berries, berries. Stone. Plenty of stone over here. Might have to see if we can't get in on that. Right, let's see if they'll let me. Z Joshi, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well today. Are you uh, a fan of Age of Empires at all? Or we'll just happened to uh, drop by? Hope you're doing well either way. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're at 240 followers now. Um, almost at the halfway mark for our, uh, our April goal to get, to, uh, to get 500 followers. So yeah, massive thank you to everyone that's, uh, that's already contributed to our, uh, our goal. Appreciate every single one of you. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Eso. Wow, they have got one of haven't they? Jesus. Over a third of the way to the Imperial Age. Let's see what this unlocks. <coughs> yeah, gold's a bit scarce at the moment, but we can uh, we'll chuck a few few more villages on that, that shouldn't be a problem. Although houses will be so oh oui, ben. See now I'm thinking it's what's any more like she's saying pass the salt. So we'll see, we'll see. Close on the Imperial Age. Let's see what this does to our uh, to our town here. Some things have got upgraded a little bit. A lot of things didn't that I was expecting to. Oh, so Shenkins all buildings again. Yeah, we'll have that. Um, That'd be nice. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, that's, that's, that was a pretty good upgrade, to be honest. Search gone up yet? Pepe, Pirates, Bucheron. Hey. Well, we can't build a castle, so it's happening, guys. Pastisor. Castle time. Ooh. Wish I'd put it up there now. How's the gold situation going? Eh, it's going better, it's going better. Okay. Oh, I've not seen these before. A cap to run battery rams. Let's build cap rams for sure better. We can only build a couple of them. I'll be perfect for taking out the keep. Oh, okay. That's what they're thinking us Britons call uh, a tower, is it a keep? Ah, that's handy. That is very handy for proof monks and that's an enemy unit. Only one of the monks must reset. I do like the idea of that one. Oof. Our new little uh, armada here is pretty powerful, isn't it? Oh, 
dice Mineo So that takes a little bit of time to pack and unpack, so once you do it, you want to be... What the? Well, to be fair, yeah. It is the town walls we want to be destroying. Might as well do it. I almost got my guy, though. Jesus. Trebuchets. Bonjour. We need 
need some more just something to counter the uh Well, it is very, very weak, but it's, uh... But it's unpacked, isn't it? Oh, so hi, Spazer, how are you doing? Yeah, now a bit of age too. I uh, finally finished uh, Age of Empires 1 a couple of weeks. Was it last week or a week before? Uh, yes, yeah, so I've, I've done three streams on Age 2. Um, and it's a bit slower than I remember, but uh, yeah, I'm starting to enjoy it a bit more now the more I'm playing it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very, very good, thanks. So, well, unfortunately, it's Sunday night, which means it's work, yeah, work tomorrow morning, but. So uh, that's life, isn't it? You know, always on the grind. Yeah. Oh yes. Right, yourself. How are you doing today? <laughs> no, that's no problem at all, mate. Just appreciate the fact that you're here at all. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well, man. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Some uh, demolition infantry carrying barrels of explosives. Alright, oh, we've got some workers going idle. What can we do with them? What can we do with them? Do -do 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 -do. Is there any stone over here? No, okay, we'll just set them over here, getting some wood there. Yeah, no, Matt, I'm so close on the affiliate. I've, um, I'm, I'm fine for the number of um, followers, fine for the amount of days streaming, and for the amount of uh, hours streaming. It's, it's the average viewers that I need to get. Um, my streams over the last couple, over the last week, have been getting high by 0.1 every single stream. I think that's just getting the uh, the previous back end of the 30 days streams where I, I wasn't getting many viewers um, knocking off of the average and the new ones uh, bouncing on. So I think it was 1.9. Let me tell you what, let, let me have a quick gander. Let me have a quick gander. Yeah, so we're 1.97. 1.97 average viewers and we need to get three average viewers um, depending on which streams I'm doing like the Age of Empires ones don't get as many viewers but I do like the game um, and then some of my other ones like Warzone is always pretty popular and um, when I do my Doom and some Star Wars games they always tend to get quite a few viewers as well but it's um, it, yeah it's close it's, it's one of those it's just building up the uh, the community a bit but um, I've been meeting 
loads of really cool people um, that have got a lot of similar interests to me that bounce on the uh, streams every now and then and have a good natter. So that's all I can hope for, really. So it's just one of those, just got to keep keep building it up over time. I wasn't expecting anything to happen overnight anyway, but uh, yeah, we've been smashing out the follower goals. Um, managed to get our 200 followers for uh, March, um, halfway through the month. So we've uh, set the big old goal of 500 followers uh, before the end of April. Um, and we're already at 240 followers. Um, so I think we've got, f yeah, we managed to smash out about 40 followers uh, in the last week. Um, so it's going well, it's going well. But, yeah, followers aren't everything, it's the actual uh, people sitting and watching. Oh, hi Humanoid, how are you doing mate? How are you doing? Didn't even clock you there, have you been lurking or have you only just popped by? Hope you're doing well today mate. Right. Lurking, nice, nice. How did they get there? Ah, I see what I did, I see what I did. I changed the uh, gathering point. Alright, so. What we need to do is destroy the town centre. It's somewhere in there. Um, Clear out these units first before uh, we send our demolition guys in. It's quite a few of them, isn't it? Right. How many have we got there? 30. Oh, that'll smash it out, no problem. Actually, they're going to get absolutely slaughtered if I try and just go in now. Alright, what do we need, what do we need, what do we need? Throwing accidents sound pretty cool, but... Raid anti-arch units. Well, that sounds pretty much like what we need. Get some range anti archers, and we'll also do some pikemen to take on the uh, cavalry. Hey, Alright, it's gonna be it's gonna be around there somewhere, isn't it? Better off going in that, that way over here. Um, no, because then we've got to go past the castle. Just need to destroy a town centre and then we've got it done. So, are these our anti archers or are they, are they spear throwers? Sure, I just saw them throwing fire and spears. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, we could do a siege tower. How many can it hold? Ten. We'll do, we'll do two siege towers. Fifteen there. Yeah, this little batch of blokes does. Oh yeah. 
Pretty good. Happy days. There we go, guys. That's how we do that. As we rode into Reims, a sea of peasants and lords knelt before Joan. Some even now. Cheers, humanoid. Much appreciated, mate. Flags danced in the breeze. In the enormous palace, the Dauphin knelt before the Archbishop and rose as King of France. Prayers, anthems, and sermons filled the great chateau. Interspersed among perfumed dukes and ladies were tattered soldiers from our army, many still bearing wounds. Joan herself was at the King's side as was her bedraggled battle standard. Despite the celebration, I know in my heart that this war is far from over. Our fathers and grandfathers died fighting the English. Joan gives us hope, and I do not know if hope is enough to ensure victory. Right guys, well, I think we're going to have to uh, leave it there for today, it's, uh, it's pretty late here so I've got to get up early in the morning for work, um, but thank you so much for uh, popping by the uh, the stream and keeping me company today. Um, the uh, the plan for the uh, the rest of the week, so tomorrow uh, we've got some Command and Conquer from around 8, 9 o'clock, on Tuesday we'll be doing a bit more Age of Empires 2, just finishing off this uh, Joan of Arc campaign and then uh, hopefully we'll be starting the Genghis Khan one as well. Um, Wednesday is Warzone Wednesday so it'll be me and Jimbo playing uh, some uh, duos and some other game modes um, from 8 o'clock until around 11, half 11. Uh, Thursday uh, pop back on some Age of Empires and Friday we have got some Star Wars Battlefront Classic where we'll be doing some Galactic Conquest and Instant Action and then on Saturday it is Doomsday so we'll be carrying on with our Doom 2 Hell on Earth um, playthrough and then Sunday back same as today with some more Age of Empires so all the uh, all the week will be around 8, 9 o'clock-ish um, for about 3 or 4 hours um, so yeah massive thank you again to everyone for uh, supporting the channel um, helping us get to our follower goals um, 240 followers waiting to go to uh, 500 before the end of April so if you're not already following the channel please hit that follow button get notifications whenever we go live and uh, also then you can uh, pop along say hi and uh, help us get that affiliate status as well and uh, have a good chinwag while you're at it um, so yeah massive thanks to everyone if you're not already checking us out on uh, twitter and um on the discord uh, server all the details are on the channel so please take a gander and uh, yeah hope you all have a great day great night and i will see you again tomorrow thanks again everyone take care